Hello, everybody. We are coming online again and waking up to our brilliance. We're coming online again and waking up to our hope. We're coming online again and waking up to our love. <clears throat> love is an open door. Love is dreaming awake. Love is here and now. I was supposed to do this daily boost at 12 noon today, but life got away from me. And so here we are commuting together as this card calls to me. Ooh. Today we're being called to be expansive. Today we are being called to be expansive. Every day I'm learning new things and expanding into my highest potential. Every day I am learning new things and expanding into my highest potential. Highest potential of what are we expanding to in Love and Action Network? Well, it's in the name. Love placed in action the best that we can as often as we can love and care encouragement equipment and empowerment i just left an amazing uh digital room uh from the house of mommy water waiting to exhale one of the community members wanted to vent and feel better about the things they were experiencing and we just held space and even got to witness I bye bye and so we're no longer being called by life to shrink ourselves or to or to diminish ourselves or to be smaller we're now being called to radical love and expansive love and as the card says, every day, every day, I'm learning new things and expanding into my highest potential. Today, I learned and relearned and was refreshed um, around a fixed mindset versus a growth mindset. And it was amazing to listen to the podcast along with community and just really remember that having a fixed mindset, having the, uh, a notion or idea that what you know is all you're going to know or you're as big as you're ever going to be or you're as uh, manifested as you're ever going to be, that may be a fixed mindset of yours versus a growth mindset that says you can learn heaps you can grow and build and develop the person that you are by the power of the human capacity to grow. And most people know that they can grow, but they're not focusing on that growth. And everyone in our network, the parents, the non-parents, uh, the artists, the witches, <laughs> All the healers and the healed here are all expanding and growing. Expanding into the highest potential of our hearts. Anchoring ourselves on every Wednesday in our love and our capacity to be love. Focusing on our wellness and love. A lot of us in Love and Action Network are coming into harmony as it relates to love. We're not agitated in love. We're not disturbed in love. We have wellness in our love. We're actually beginning to see that love is being complicated by so many people when we recognize that love is listening and encouraging and crying and being hopeful and joyful in telegram channels. So they want to be chaotic in love, but we are anchoring into our wellness as it relates to love. And doesn't it feel good to be well 
and whole in your love. To recognize that there's a wisdom and abundance and healing energy that's trying to come through us and also is represented in our community by the color of green. When we focus on the color green, wow, Loretta, are you still here? I haven't seen Loretta in a month of Sundays, Jesus. Hi, it's good to see you. I'm recording the Daily Boost uh, on YouTube and Substack and Spotify. It's good to see you, Loretta. You are so loved and lovable by me. So we have programmed ourselves here, Loretta, to recognize the color green, to represent uh, wisdom, money, luck, abundance, fertility, healing, our ability to manifest and trust. We can use the green of the grass and the green of a sweater or the green of a t-shirt or adorning green to our heads to allow us to trust ourselves more. Loretta, it is a pleasure and a thrill to see you. So much is the same, Loretta, but so much has changed. So much is the same, but so much has changed since I saw you last. And that is the gospel truth, my dear. So much is the same, and so much has changed. In fact, since you were last here, Loretta, Tara had a whole ass baby. Can you believe that, Loretta? Since we saw you last, to, uh, since we saw you last, Tara incubated and dropped a whole child nine days ago, no less. So, like I said, I know, Mazel Tov. Things have changed and things have stayed the same. But you are loved and lovable, Loretta, and you are held in our hearts always as the OG super fan of Dr. Flo. Always supportive. Loretta, always honest, always open, and always willing as it related to love. I appreciate you, Loretta. It's good to see you. On Wednesdays, we focus, in addition to our trust, on cooperative economics. This idea that we are in this in interdependent society. Most of us, most of us don't grow our own foods and vegetables and things. So we're relying on other people to source our apples and the wheat for our bread. I do not grind and sift wheat for my bread. Poppy Water buys the bread, I eat it. <laughs> Love to you, Loretta. And so because of that, I'm in a cooperative economic exchange with these farmers and with the grocers and things. And it's important to be in balance with the cooperative economics, not only of your life as it relates to foods and things, but also as it relates to your energy. There's a song that we play in the mornings uh, when we do coffee together online on TikTok and beyond uh, called Energy Budget. What are you budgeting out your energy for? Most people have a, a fair assessment of where their dollars and cents are in life. But what about your energy budget? What about the cooperative economics and the balancing of the budget of your energy? Is there something that you need to do addition with uh, in your energy budget? Is there, is there something that you want to add, like more loving and loved and lovable energy and more peaceful energy and more accepting energy. That's something you want to add. Do you want to subtract uh, the ways in which we push love away? Do you want to subtract the need for external gratification over loving yourself? All economics is this balancing of energy. 
and this need for me to invest in YouTube Premium. Drop in the chat what you love today. Every Wednesday in, in our Heart Chakra, we focus on what we love. I love, as always, the internet's ability to connect us over multiple geographies and state lines to one another. I'm able to say straight to Starlight Mystic, I love you. I'm able to say to Tara and Bruno, I love you. I'm able to say to Loretta, I love you. I'm able to broadcast all over the world at the touch of a button. I love that. Um, never has there been a more connected time in our society while people try to force to divide and try to make us hyper focus on well, how we don't relate. Tonight in our Telegram channels, I found a lot of relationship. I found a lot of bridges. I found a lot of connective tissue. I didn't even know we had as many parents in here as we do. You birthing people. You breeding people. You uh, be fruitful and multiplying kind of people. I didn't even know that was a thing. Ron has a whole three-year-old, right? I love it because he has a window into life as it relates to Tara's experience that I don't have. I love that connection as well. I love that I arrived here today. I love that you are here as well, Loretta. You're so precious to me. Uh, t uh, Loretta, Loretta came through when I was in a very, very low moment in my life. I love you for that. You can use crystals like rose quartz, green avatarine, rhodonite, emerald, and green calcite to focus your prayers on love. Remember, whatever you focus on in life is what's going to amplify. So use your I love affirmations to really charge your prayers. Maybe you're grateful for spirituality. Maybe you're grateful for a higher power you call God. I love higher power. I love love. I love that I am the love of my life. I love that. I love that you are the love of your life. I love that. And recognizing that you are loved and lovable and that you are the love of your life brings in this energy of what it means to be peaceful and what it means to be accepting of yourself. And this is something new, Loretta, um, that I'm not really, you know, you were around for season one uh, years ago when I was screaming into the internet wondering why people... Um, did not compute the love, um, but what we dispel, what we um, dis distilled, dispelled. Well, we spilled it too, Loretta. First, we spilled it first. We spilled it first. But after spilling it, we distilled it down into a very simple and profound message. You are loved and lovable in this present moment. You've always been loved and lovable for your entire life, and you're always going to be loved and lovable. And the recognition that you are loved and lovable, regardless of your causes and conditions in this life, will liberate you instantaneously. Because people who are trying to get closer to their loved and lovable nature or vibration, they just live differently. Loved and lovable people have different kinds of days than people who are just winging it, Loretta. And so what we've been working in this uh, clay of life and this co-creation as a community, it's all come into this energy of, you know what? Even if I don't remember anything else today, I'm going to remember and recall deeply and profoundly that I am loved and lovable. And it's going to create the conditions where people treat me better because I'm loved and lovable. 
I make more money and my donations have gone up and my super fan unboxings have gone up and my stress level has gone down and my ability to conjure and call peace has increased because guess what folks no matter what you say Loretta I'm joking Loretta would never say anything bad about Dr. Flo she knew me before I was Dr. Flo she knew me as a guy called Andre just screaming into the internet right she knew me as a dude named Andre just screaming into the damn internet. But being loved and lovable changes your perspective on life and your relationship to everything and everybody. And you begin to treat people with a greater level of compassion and grace. You may not let them sit by you at the lunch table in life because they can be toxic as hell. But you certainly treat them with a certain level of compassion and kindness because after all right they too are loved and lovable and you never get it twisted you never villainize people or cast them out completely or wish badness upon them because like you they're loved and lovable they just can't sit here uh, in those weird vibrations they carry and they certainly can't um, subject me to their mind viruses you know the mind viruses of life that make you feel limited and like you're not capable you're capable you're capable because you're loved and lovable Loretta will recall um, us walking through 52 you know you you've definitely been in a room or two or several um, Loretta where we were reading from 52 weeks of conscious contact i think you even have a copy of it somewhere that i've sent you but this week uh is week 19 of this year of our lord alleged 2024 the aliens have not come to get me yet so here we are uh and it is day sunday monday tuesday wednesday day four of week 19 and this week Loretta we're focusing on that thing that we pray for but we rarely like the lessons it's called patience and there's nothing that grinds my gears or tries me more than that wonderful life lesson of patience that is the one thing that I do not pray for I pray for everything else, but patience, I don't want no more lessons in her. Have we not waited long enough? Are we there yet, Loretta? Are we there yet? This man's been online talking about loved and lovable and singing songs and offering smiles and support and shenanigans and vulnerable living and a belief in the dreams. And he ain't on TV yet. He ain't got a full studio yet. I did get a man, though. I did get it, Loretta. I'm not sure if you've been tuning in. I think you did meet him on one of the lives a few months ago. But since the clubhouse days, Shantae got a man. Okay. 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 Ain't nothing changed, Loretta. I told you. I told you. Great sex, great food, great adventures. That meant it. Dinner was lovely. Day four around the theme of patience. There is a principle of divine timing in the universe. I don't know who needs to hear this. Melody writes, there is a principle of divine timing in the universe. That timing isn't always ours. The inventory focus of this week is, are you open to considering the idea that the rest of the world may not be moving too slowly? 
perhaps you are moving too quickly. Oh, Loretta, you already know that the things that have not, the blessings that have Loretta's names on them, the blessings that have Loretta's name on them, cannot be claimed by anybody else in the layaway of heaven. Anybody hearing me today? I know it's late and I came, I came to the party a little tardy. Do you understand me when I say that the blessings that lay up in your heavenly kingdom, the dreams that you have in your heart and your mind, they have little tags on them that have your name on them, Starlight. They have your name on them, Tara. They have, they have your name on them, Dr. Flo. I'm not talking about hocus pocus. I'm talking about the things that you are meant to accomplish and the blessings you are meant to receive have a tag with your name on them and no one else can claim them from layaway. Now for you young kids in the room, because I'm now realizing that I'm, I turned 40 this year, uh, Loretta, so I'm turning into a geriatric millennial even further. And um, some of the kids don't know about layaway. Layaway is uh, something that we used to do at Kmart where you could go and you could pick out an item that you wanted. Someone's gonna catch this word tonight. In the Kmart layaway with the blue light special, for the old people like me, K K -Light used to, Kmart used to do these blue light specials. You could go and pick out that jacket that you wanted. You could go and look at that TV. You could pick out the clothes that you knew you were going to want in the next season. And you could put them in this thing that we used to call layaway. And they would attach your name and your ticket to that item. And you could pay off of it. You could pay on it at customer service incrementally. I don't know, Tara. I don't even know if layaway exists, but you could put $20 and $10 and $5 at a time on that jacket that you knew you were going to need when it got to be winter later. Someone needs to hear this word tonight. And it doesn't matter <clears throat> Who else came to customer service to try to get your jacket for the winter? It didn't matter who came to get your short set for the summertime. It didn't matter who came to get what you had laid up under your name because they couldn't get it. It was laid up in layaway for you. And the spirit is speaking the same kinds of energy tonight. There are things in your Kmart in the sky there are dreams and ideas and visions and business ideas and relationships and great sex, great food and great adventure that you know is yours or that you wish could be fulfilled in your life. And it's in, it's behind that counter under your ticket and your name. And even if I go and say, yo, give me the, 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 the Loretta special. Go and get me Tara's experience. Go and get me Starlight. Go get me Poppy Waters' experience. Go get me Gabby's. Even if I go and try to lay claim, they're going to go, who are you? This treasure is laid up for the person whose name is on it. Are you open to considering the idea that the rest of the world may not be moving too slowly? Perhaps we are moving too quickly. They're not going to give your blessing to someone else. You're not going to give up on yourself and stop putting a down payment on your dreams. You're going to do that thing that we talk about in Love and Action Network all the time. You're going to take it one day at a time, 1% at a time. One percent at a time.
I'm feeling uh, called uh, to read this wonderful poem from Louise Hay. It's a self-love affirmation to close us out tonight so I can go and watch Abbott Elementary and Judge Judy with my beloved. But I thank you so much for holding space for love tonight uh, and believing in your growth potential. Understanding and acknowledging that none of us are the same people that we were years ago. And a lot of us are better in many circumstances uh, and many in many criterion when you start looking at the levels of our self-care of our emotions the levels of self-care around our physical being the levels of self-care around our social you start looking at the ways in which we're relating to ourselves we're better than we've ever been we're not as reactive we're not assuming guilt in the other. And we're certainly not doing it as fast as we used to. We're no longer complaining all day about life as it is. We're accepting life as it is and recognizing that better is on the way. Everybody's growing. Let us be thankful. Let us be thankful. Two minutes and some change on the clock. I love my self-affirmation. Deep at the center of my being, there's an infinite well of love. I now allow this love to flow to the surface. It fills my heart, my body, my mind, my consciousness, my very being, and it radiates out from me in all directions and returns to me multiplied. The more love I use and give, the more I have to give. The supply is endless. The use of love makes me feel good. It is an expression of my inner joy. I love myself, therefore I take loving care of my body. I lovingly feed it nourishing foods and beverages. I lovingly groom it and dress it and my body lovingly responds to me with vibrant health and energy. I love myself, therefore I provide for myself a comfortable home, one that fills all my needs and is a pleasure to be in. I fill the rooms with a vibration of love so that all who enter, myself included, will feel this love and be nourished by it. That includes TikTok rooms. I love myself, therefore I work at a job that I truly enjoy doing, one that uses my creative talents and abilities, working with and for people I love and who love me, and earning a good income. I love myself, therefore I behave and think in a loving way to all people, for I know that that which I give out returns to me multiplied. And I only attract loving people in my world, for they are a mirror of who I am. I love myself, therefore I forgive and totally release the past and all past experiences, and right now I am free. I love myself, therefore I live totally in the now, experiencing each moment as good and knowing that my future is what, Love and Action Network? My future is bright, joyous, and secure, for I'm a beloved child of the universe and the universe lovingly takes care of me now and forevermore. And so it is. And so it is. If you'd like to donate to the causes, there's a link in the bios. Love, uh, Love and Action Network is at lovedandlovable.org. If you enjoyed tonight, uh, consider putting something in the cup of love. Until next time, stay in your power, stay in your joy, stay loved and lovable, and we'll see you on tomorrow.